Okay, class. AP tests are coming up soon. Take out your notes. You have our Yeah, I love D. Really like, 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 ah, dude, dude, make me bullshit. Please be quiet. Does anyone have any questions about today's lesson? We have no questions, Mr. Schmidt. Guys, if you don't have any questions, you clearly didn't do the assignment last night. We need to start prepping more. Wow, Mr. Smith has no idea how to dress. Is he even prepared for this class? I bet I can teach this class better than he can. <sighs> Why won't my students listen? Okay, students, we've got AP tests coming up soon. Take out your notes. Shh. Does anyone have a question about last night's assignment on genetics? Yes, Kristen, what's your question? Yeah, can you explain the elastic clause? I'm a little confused. Yes, I can. First, we need to draw the Gaussian surface, which is dA. Then we need to find the total charge Q over epsilon naught. Mr. Anderson is so helpful. He really knows what he's talking about. I'm glad I have him as a teacher. Good work today, guys. I'm sure you'll all do well on the AP exams. Hey, Mr. Schmidt. Come in. Hey, I have a question. It's kind of embarrassing, but how do you get your students to perform so well? We both teach AP classes, and I know we both have similar teaching styles. Hmm. I'm no mind reader, but my best guess is the way we dress. Really? How so? Well, here at Code County High School, we have a dress code. The dress code is set to create a professional learning environment. If the school teachers dress well, we create a positive impression and have the students respect without having to say a word. I get it. So it's similar to how people have to dress up for interviews to get others respect. Exactly. Well, I guess I need new clothes then. I'm free tomorrow. Let's go to the mall and I'll help you pick up some clothes. Thanks. I haven't worn a suit since high school prom. <laughs>